Hi, this is Chick Shane Mosley, and you're watching True School Sports. All right. Ben and Taylor here. I'm with Jamil McClain. How you doing, Jamil? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? The big cats in the house. All right, all right. How you doing, man? Huh? How you doing? Like, what Not too bad, man. I'm doing good. I'm out here hustling. You know, uh, I have a... I just, you know, I, I live, I live the dream, you know? I got a house on the water. I got a beautiful wife who's a physician in town. I'm in sunny South Florida. You know, I own a gym. Um, I have a marketing consulting firm. Um, life is awesome. Life is beautiful, you know? Yeah, man, you got a lot going on, it seems. It really is, you know, and it's really important to understand. I always tell the young guys, listen, it's going to be a time when you can't fight. You have to set yourself up now, young guys, for the future. It's very important to be prepared for the future. That's why I'm such a big, big advocate with a lot of fighters. Because a lot of fighters end up destitute when they're not fighting anymore. I retired in 2012 with my last fight. I really wasn't affected. Those, uh, you had the, those characteristics that could make you successful in other realms beyond just boxing. Correct. So uh, my question is, is, is always, why can't we, we, we become the greatest on planet Earth? Think about it. Um, we have become the greatest on planet Earth in what we've done, a lot of us, and what we chose to do, which is very rare. Think about it. How many people wake up every day and say, I'm going to be the best in the world at what I do? We accomplished that. So I never really understood why we didn't, why a lot of us, and I say us, but a lot of us, can't take those same qualities that made us great in the ring and still be great after. Because a lot of us are ending up destitute. There's very few of us. You know, of course, you have your guys like Delahoya and, and uh, they were these other guys, but it's really tough, you know, um, for everyday guys like at my level. Yeah, I've for the world title four times. I made 13 million in my career. But there's a lot of guys like me who are destitute now for all the divisions, from the heavyweight division all the way down to the flyweight division. So I'm a big advocate of preparation now while you have it, while you have the name, while you're in position. Yeah. Preparation now for the future because boxing does come to an end. You're one of the, you're celebrating, you're great. How many uh, 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 Floyd Pattersons are out there? How many De La Hoyas? How many Hopkins with yeah, yeah. you know, big great, you know, making a great living after they're finished, but very few, and I don't understand, you know, why we can't take those same qualities and still be great at other things. Yeah, that's, that's, that's very interesting, because right. um, you go, you kind of go so hard at boxing. All right. All right, really quick, I want right. you to meet my manager. All right, I, I, know, I met him earlier, I met him earlier, we met Charles Warren earlier. Oh, no, 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 no,